that's beautiful. You, you really have a beautiful way with words. And I think I'm reminded because I know you and I've been working with you for several years. I know your story and to hear you now, you're so eloquent and you're so good at expressing and communicating that I think a lot of people would be surprised that you had to overcome a lot of anxiety as a young person. Yeah. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but that anxiety has led to you pursuing these things and also your quest to help other young people. So yeah. I think, I think it often people, you know, look at someone, how they're performing per se on camera or to get their messages across. They assume it's easy or they don't know all the work and the steps that you took to arrive here because they think that maybe that's how exactly you were in high school and your whole life when that's not necessarily the case. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's not just like a, a, a God given or like natural born talent, uh, something like that. Right. So for me, I had so many years of performance anxiety and just hiding from myself and others, because I didn't know how I should show up. Like I didn't really have a clear, I felt like I disappointed people a lot. I wasn't a good student. Uh, I had a lot of energy as a kid. I still do. And so I felt like, like I was very impulsive. I had been diagnosed with ADHD, all of these things. Right. So the practice for me over time was learning if I can learn how to move with this and accept myself and start to love myself, which I had a coach to help me go through this process of like really understanding how to really get acquainted with myself in a way where I can be okay with who I am and going to like moving through that and, and I'll say getting to the other side. And of course I still have struggles like anybody else. And I also feel like I'm able to not struggle for as long as I used to. I used to go months, years, just silently suffering. I don't do that anymore. Now, sometimes I don't recognize it right away. It might take me a week or something if I'm like really in like a self-doubt kind of spiral. It used to be years or me never knowing that that was just a self-doubt spiral all the time. So there are certain practices, there are certain skills. One of the things that I love to share with people, there's two things. One is just practicing eye contact with, with strangers to really get like, oh, like I'm in a story about like, I'm not good enough, that was mine. And so when I started to, to make eye contact, I recognized some people make eye contact back and some people don't. And it wasn't a reflection of me, it was a reflection of them. So then I didn't take every, every weird look or everything that I was interpreting as a weird look to be personal. It was like, oh no, that's just the space.